Oh my god, what the hell? Holy shit! Dude. My dudes, we're back finally for more Mob Psycho 100. What up, the gigs and dudes and dudettes? My name is DV Geek, and yes, I'm finally getting back on track with Mob Psycho 100. As you know, it's been two weeks. I've missed two episodes, and well, I guess it's a good thing because I get to watch two episodes back to back right here and now. Now, you all know what I love about this show. Everything, basically. The art style, the characters, the humor, the action, the animation. It's all something that I really appreciate. And I think Mob Psycho is definitely above unique when it comes to the style of the animation. I really, really love the artist's perspective of this anime. And, of course, the manga as well. So I'm really looking forward to the next episode. Now, in the last episode, we learned a few things. I mean, in the last two episodes, I want to say, I mean, Mob somewhat got a girlfriend. Someone that potentially wasn't going to be his girlfriend. It was just all a setup, but ended up actually liking Mob and Mob showing the kind of care and compassion that he actually does have and he's showing that he's a little bit more comfortable in being himself. In doing so, he actually showed this girl that he has psychic abilities or I want to say Esper ability. So I think that's a huge development in his character. And then obviously in the episode after that, we got the Urban Legends, an absolutely hilarious, absolutely freaking hilarious episode indeed. And I really liked it. You know, we got a showcase of that beautiful animation that we're so used to in previous, um, the previous season of Mob Psycho 100. So I'm excited to see what's left or what's going on in this show. I want to see where the season is going. Um, like I said, I'm two episodes behind, so I'm sure I'm going to see a lot in these two episodes. I'm really, I am actually really looking forward to it. Now, if you guys haven't seen my latest community post, I uploaded a new Patreon and YouTube schedule. So if you guys want to see that, you can click the community tab right now, and you can see for yourselves what videos are going to be dropping during the week. I'm going to be following it to the schedule as of tomorrow onwards and i'm looking forward to it i think things are going to make i think this is going to make things a lot easier for not just you guys and your understanding of the channel and what video drops on which day but it also makes things a lot easier for me as a creator so i know what to record i know what to prepare and i can get my shit together when it comes to organizing the channel which has been a huge problem here you know and i i know that i've been listening to all of your 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 feedback your complaints etc and i'm trying to take on board all of that stuff and put it out in a way where it just seems more efficient and more organized for all of you guys at home. So definitely go check out the community tab if you have not already to see that schedule. And brace yourselves from, for some uh, returning shows as well. They're all coming back and I look forward to it. It's going to be a lot of fun. Anyway dudes, we're here from Mob Psycho 100. I'm excited. Make sure you leave a like here for me. I greatly appreciate it. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you love Mob Psycho 100. Or you've seen the schedule and there's stuff there that you'd like. Then... You don't hesitate to do so. It would be really helping me a lot in achieving my goal of 100,000 subscribers. Because we're, we're getting very close. Let's let's admit it. We're getting very, very close. Anyway, without further ado, let's watch Mob Psycho 100. This is his webpage. It looks super sketchy. His webpage looks super sketchy. Who was actually looking that up? Somebody actually seeking assistance, perhaps? Oh yeah, here we go. One danger after another. Degeneration. Episode 3. Sudden change. <laughs> Why is there a book with his name on it? What's he doing? <laughs> You're full of shit, Reagan. <laughs> okay, but you came here looking for a curse. So if you can curse yourself, then why'd you come all this way? <laughs> he is thinking really hard about it. Is this somebody he actually has in mind? <laughs> a face of suspense. <laughs> okay, what? <laughs> You're a ghost! You can go straight through it! Why are you complaining? <laughs> Not a topic to discuss with ghosts. Oh! 
<laughs> wow, I love how they express the emotion in her face in this scene. It almost immediately changed the setting of this scene. What the hell? Didn't mom sense a living person, no? That is freaking terrifying. What the hell? An out of body experience. So that's what it was. Interesting. So he's been spying on her with an out of body experience? I really don't think she's gonna like you after that. I don't know what the sense of shock is from, bro. You were clearly being a creep. Like, out of body creep. <laughs> I just love how Dimple Sama is just along for the ride now. He kind of works with them as a as a, a trio. Reagan is money hungry though, isn't he? He can take any job, even if it's a stupid one like this one. But then again, business was slow for a while, and even now it's starting to only pick up. So everything is so is drawn so bloody well in this show, man. I'd say the unexpected just happened. Mob's Esper senses are tingling. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful! <laughs> that's so cool! Look at that! Bullies, eh? What the hell? Wait, what? What is he doing? Um, excuse me? It's Dimple. <laughs> you should have known. Oh, at least Dimple's got his back. I like that. Oh, it's Ritsu this time. <laughs> yeah, don't mess with Mob. People's got it or ba his back, bro. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, you definitely messed with the wrong kid. <laughs> yeah, you get what you deserve. <laughs> I doubt we're gonna mess with Mob again after this. Oh, they're looking for more help, but they just left them there. Abandoned. On Photoshop. <laughs> Photoshop. <laughs> Reagan's got the best powers. Hey, don't be pressuring my boy Mob. They're, they're good spirits. Yeah, but they're not evil. Even Reagan is telling him now. Thank God, I thought Reagan was actually going to push him to do it. I was actually getting concerned there. Uh, Dimple, what the hell do you think you're doing? That is... Insanely creepy. This has to be the creepiest episode of Mob Psycho I've watched. This actually freaked me out a little bit. Whoa, hang on a second there. That's my boy Reagan right there. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> I love it when Reagan gets serious. Okay, so he's realized what's wrong with Mob. Yeah, so asking him to choose was unfair. This is why I love Reagan, you know? He might be a money-hungry con artist, but my god, he knows... He knows Mob very well, like more than anyone. Definitely the creepiest episode of Mob Psycho I've seen so far. 
That had a meaning there. I want. I just want to. I just want to go back there just for just a second, dudes. You see that? I just want to pause it there just for a second. No, it says here, if there are three evil spirits, the exorcism fee on one of them will be on the house. Oh. That's what the poster says. Okay, that's fair. I just wanted to know what that meant. I was <laughs> just going to eat it. <laughs> Jesus. I think that had to have been the most serious and creepiest episode I've seen of Mob Psycho 100. Like, definitely the most different episode I've watched out of all of them. Damn, dude, I guess we're going on to the next one now. Alright, so we're diving straight into episode 4 now, dudes. Whoa. Um, what the hell was going on there? And who was that? And why was Dimple with him? Alright, Inside Evil Spirit is the name of episode 4. Let's dive into this. <laughs> and yet we're taking a train. I love how um this season is heavily focusing on Mob and Reagan working side by side. Like there has been times in the first season, but in the second season it seems like every episode they're working very, very close together, you know? Hey, look who it is! Nice <laughs> to meet you. What a creepy geezer. <gasps> hey, look who it is! Oh, man! <laughs> He's got PTSD from Reagan Sama. That's the first poor guy. <laughs> yeah, I know. Why is there a bodybuilder wearing a bikini, bro? Rock, paper, scissors? Really? Alright. <laughs> no, he's not. He don't know what he's gonna do. <laughs> I love Reagan. I just love him, bro. He's the most OP, non-powerful character. <laughs> it's like the best. So she's conscious now, was she? I didn't hit her hard. You shouldn't have hit her at all. Oh, what the hell? Unless this is a spirit speaking, this evil entity inside her. I think it could be. I mean, this is really convincing. Oh my god, Reagan! Damn, dude! He's actually... He's actually right, dude! Well, I thought that was Reagan on the floor! What the hell? That threw me off! What the hell? Did we switch from anime to manga all of a sudden? What the hell? Okay. Here we go. Origin story of Mogami Keiji. Oh my god. Oh, so that was a flashback to Dimple Sama. Wow! I give up! Oh, 
So that's what his goal was, to actually become an evil spirit. And Dimple escapes, just barely. Jesus, look at that. Are we going to get a showdown here? Are we going to get a showdown of the series? Mogami versus Mob. Okay, let's see what the old guy can do. Whoa. What the hell? <laughs> God, I love Reagan so freaking much, dude. He's definitely like the MVP anime character. I don't care what anyone says. Oh shit. Oh my god, what the hell? Holy shit! What? Whoa, okay, we've never seen that in this show before. What the hell? Seventy-seven percent. Okay. That's awesome. This show just got a whole lot more interesting. The fact that they showed somebody getting impaled is not something that we've seen from this show yet. Yeah, that's mob. Ah! Oh my god! He's... He's destroying that poor girl's body! Whoa! This... This got a whole lot more interesting. Oh my god, 91%? Whoa! No, nah, he's not just some kid. He's got some serious latent power. Wow. This has never happened before. Shit, they fuse into one. Mob, that's crazy. That's, that's crazy, dude. Really? So he wants to leave his own body to expel the spirit that's in the little girl's body while Dimple Sama protects his body. Interesting. He's gonna make himself lose consciousness. Holy shit! That's Mob's spirit? Oh, no, 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 no. Ah, shit! Dimple, you gotta protect his body. Dad a boy. Whoa. Okay. He did it! He successfully entered. That poor girl. That's. That poor girl, I feel sorry for her than more than anybody else in this episode right now. It's funny because he looks like an older mob. This episode is incredible! Let him in on purpose. では、ここで問題だ。幸せに暮らしている人間と苦しみにもがいている人間。どちらの方が強い感じ。あ、what? Are you seriously going to leave it like that? What? He's altered his memories. So is this all in his consciousness? Why I got questions. Whoa. Dude, this episode was freaking amazing.
Holy crap, dudes, that episode was freaking amazing. I love the two of them, but this episode in particular has put Mob Psycho 100 on a different level for me. The way I view the show. Oh my god, okay, so where do I begin? Right, so I guess we gotta talk about the first episode we watched, which is episode 3. I thought that in that particular episode, they really changed the mood, the setting of this show. Because we all know Mob Psycho 100 from, you know, the insanely humorous animation, the the funny comedic aspects of it, and of course, the action scenes. You know, we love that. And yes, there's hints of emotions here. There's some dramatic events that happened in the first season. And, you know, the, the first two episodes that we watched originally was just focusing on Mob returning. You know, he has more of a mature life now. He's beginning to develop more with people around him. And he's beginning to open up, up a little bit more, which is huge developments in his character. Second episode was focusing more on the humor again. We got the Urban Legends, which were downright hilarious and hysterical. Um, there's some some dark tones in there when it comes to the, the guy in the red coat seems to be a flasher of some kind so he's obviously some sort of registered sex offender which is fine you know that's all fine but you know episode three is where the dark tones come in they really change this, the mood of the anime i think a lot when mob is faced with good spirits for the first time and he had to ma make a moral decision like what does he do but he's kind of left torn as reagan had highlighted that he cares for both sides of the spectrum both the we, both the living world and the undead world you know he sees these worlds equally and as much as everybody sees the living you know so mob has that kind of um i want to say option or not option he, he's kind of torn between decisions on what to make and that was like really dark for me because he had to make a decision there and he didn't know what to do because he's been so used to getting rid of evil spirits and being left with a decision that a spirit or a family of spirits that were actually good and don't intend to hurt everyone anyone at all he was left with that decision what to make like does he exercise them does he not his emotion was his emotions were really playing with him and that's where the darkness comes in you know this this was really eerie for me this episode it was because not only you know the 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 moods that were happening in this particular episode but the setting was very dark the animation was creepy as hell like that stuff was actually scary bro i know they were good spirits and they were the they were not going to harm anyone but the way they were animated was definitely the creepiest. It just gave me a chill, you know, in the in my back. But it just kind of it kind of opens up a little bit more of our understandings of, as viewers of how mobs, you know, sees things in his own perspective. You know, as Reagan pointed out, like I said, he's mob doesn't just see the living; he also sees the dead. He sees the spirits, and there's also good and bad of them. But I think this is the first time we've really seen the good in regards spirit wise yes we have dimple summon but he's kind of a bit of both sometimes he could be a little bit sinister at times but he's also a comedic character so i don't really count him i just think he's more of comedic relief and uh kind of aided character in a way he's just there to add to a certain scene or whatever but this is the first time we've seen good spirits that were just wanting to live in peace if that makes any sense even though they're not living per se but you know what i'm saying and I thought that was quite different. That was definitely a different approach to the show. But then we come to episode 4. Okay? Episode 4. Yes. Reagan. Mob. They have another mission to take on. And it's a really important one. As some big shot with a lot of money is hiring a lot of espers. A lot of psychics to try help his daughter. Now like I pointed out earlier on in my reaction. I do like the fact that they're bringing more of the... the the reagan mob team up thing going on in this season like they ended the last season with reagan and mob together and they're really kind of focusing on them two working hand on hand with each other and a lot is to do with reagan learning a lot from mob and seeing mob is actually developing a lot more you know thinking wise he's beginning to think for himself he's showing a lot more emotion he's beginning to understand that he has you know he has the ability to control what he wants to do he has his own you know i mean he has the option to make his own choice 
And Reagan wants them to know that just because Reagan is his boss, you know, just because Reagan is his master per se, it doesn't mean he has to listen to him all the time. He is free to make his own decision, and I like that because there was a there was a section in, in episode three where I thought Reagan was actually forcing him to exercise these spirits, but Reagan could see, and he's learning a lot more that Mob is changing. And he's trying to understand him a bit more. So there is a development there between them two as characters. Which I liked. But coming into this episode, like, there's some seriously weird things happening. Like, first of all, that shocked me the most. And I think you guys have seen it and witnessed it for yourselves with my reaction. Is the fact that somebody got impaled in this. This kid, this little girl, is possessed by some evil dent entity. That turns out to be an esper in the past. A legendary one at that. But obviously was consumed by darkness. Consumed by despair wants to turn into an evil spirit himself and successfully done so and has possessed this poor girl and now this girl is responsible for possibly killing her own dad because of this spirit and that is dark that is gritty that is not something we've seen from this show yet like i didn't think this show was going to go that route but it did and do i think it was a bad choice no i think it was a great choice because now it's not going to be your typical Mob Psycho 100 episode. It's it's totally changed. It's totally changed the mood. It's totally changed the setting. Because, for one, that was a, a fairly, you know, I want to say adult-themed scene with the impaling of the daughter and father. Like, that, that was crazy. The fact that that happened, that actually shocked me a little bit. And now we're actually come to a certain scene in this where Mob is actually not as powerful... As well, I originally thought, I thought he was like the OP character. I thought he was the Saitama when it comes to Espers. That there was nobody that he couldn't eliminate just like that. But now he's actually come across somebody that's superior than him. To the point of actually possessing his own consciousness. And it seemed that he's just waking up from a bad dream or whatever. And now he's just going to go about his day like normal. But apparently he's removed his Esper ability. So he's going to see things in a different perspective. And he's going to try to approach life in a different perspective, which ultimately may lead Mob getting stronger than he already is. Now, this guy may think that this would be a good idea for him to do to break Mob. But I think Mob is probably going to learn a lot from this experience. Not using his Esper abilities, he might be able to cope with the real world a lot more without having to rely on Esper abilities. Not saying that he's ever used them before to help himself out, because that's something that he's never really done. He doesn't like using his special abilities in the real world, even if it means it could help him out of a really bad situation example being that scene where he was potentially going to get bullied but obviously people's got his back you know he's developed friendships and relationships in the first season and he seems to be pretty okay but like i said i think mob's gonna learn a lot from this experience but i don't know where it's gonna go i honestly don't know where this is going like this new character that we're introduced to forget his name now but he was an esper in the past a renowned one at that but he seems to be very, very powerful. Like, very, very powerful. And he stated that it's not just, you know, the positive emotions that are powerful. It's the negative ones that are the most powerful. Which I actually personally do believe. Now, I don't believe in spirits and all that. I'm not at all superstitious in that regard. Like, and I do I do believe in the paranormal. I do. I'm, I do believe in that. But I don't know about spirits and stuff. Or, I don't know. I'm not going to go into detail on that. But I do believe that when it comes to negativity, it's more powerful than positivity. Now... I'm not saying being negative is the way to be. God, no. Hell, no. But, I mean, when somebody's negative, you can feel that. Like, if you're in a room, you can feel the negativity. I mean, you can't feel positivity as much as you could feel negativity. Like, let's be honest. Like, say, for example, now I'm rambling here a little bit. But when when an argument happens in a room between two people, okay, and then nothing happens. They don't say anything to each other. But there is that sense of negativity in the air, and you can you can feel it. You know, it's the same way. It's the same. Where the expression goes, you can slice the tension in the air with a knife you know it's negative it's a negative force and i do believe that negativity can be more powerful and if you want to use um pop culture references like star wars and the dark side of the force like it's always seems to be way more powerful than the light side of the force you know so i do think that this is quite interesting i like where the show is going i like the sudden twist and u-turn that they took with emotions with this and i think you know the dark themes that they're going for i think is going to be really good for this season uh, that's what i've kind of been craving for is some sort of change and i got that i really got that in these last two episodes that i watched so really enjoyed them really looking forward to the next few episodes and i want to know what's going to happen with mob in this 
fake consciousness that he's in right now in this world that he's living in because I, I don't think he's actually living this experience right now in the real world I think this is all mentally and I don't know where it's going to go honestly it's just all speculation from here but we just have to wait for episode 5 like, holy crap, Mob Psycho 100 took a U-turn and I'm interested. Like, really freaking interested. I was already interested going in, trust me. I love this show. I really, really do. But now, I'm more interested than ever. Because this is a different approach. And I really look forward to it. That is for sure. But anyway, dudes, that does end my reaction and review. I do apologize that I rambled on a little bit more with the review. But I just wanted to get my thoughts on there. As you can see, I've got very strong opinions on these few episodes. And I really look forward to the next few. I think it's going to be pretty damn interesting. And I cannot wait. You know, next week cannot come quick enough. But like I said, dudes, I hope you guys did enjoy this reaction review. If you did, make sure you smash that like. I would greatly appreciate it. And of course, if you enjoyed what I had to say, you want to see more and hear more from me, be sure to subscribe to the channel as well. Help me reach the 100k dream. I would greatly appreciate that also. And like I said earlier, there is a new schedule up. Just check the community tab. You'll see what videos are dropping, what anime shows I'm covering, what games I'm playing, when the streams are happening, all that good stuff. It's all in the new community uh, post post so definitely go check that out for yourselves anyway thank you so much for watching and as always stay geeky stay cool be awesome and be happy and i'll see you dudes in my next mob psycho 100 video see you later dudes